I was six years old. I didn't know the language. And you are my only friend. Cause she said no, don't you be shy, don't you look up, time's on your side, a plasticine dream, do you comprehend, a frivolous being, let's not pretend that you didn't see. We used to always try and guess our houses from here, do you remember? Mine was that way, near the hospital. And mine was over there, near the school. <laughs> Do you remember when you fell down in year two and we had to have the don't run with scissors stock from Miss Fig? And you said what to do there was an emergency. What if Granny is tied to a tree, I said, and the tree is also on fire, what well, then I said? I remember. Call the fire brigade, said she. But the tree is really, truly, entirely on fire, I said. I need to run with scissors. I need to save my granny, I said. She didn't like you. She didn't. No. Maybe that boy was running to save his granny from a tree that is a flame, I said. And I pointed at you, do you remember? I remember. Were you running to save your granny from a tree that is a flame, I asked you. And I said yes. And then we were friends until forever. I remember. I wore that bracelet for months. The cutesy one. You wrap your fingers around the blades. Hmm? If you do have to run with scissors, wrap your fingers around the blades, like this. You make a shield of yourself. Well, I suppose it's better that way. Only one person gets hurt, not the other. It's kind of selfless. I want my ashes scattered here when I die. It feels like the center of the world. Are you ever going to like that? It's a metaphor. What? It's a metaphor. See? You put the killing thing right between your teeth, but you don't give it the power to do its killing. John Green, the fault in our stars. It's a book. I'm quoting from a book. You read a lot. You were always reading. I remember the first time I went in your bedroom, thinking it was like a library. Yeah, I convinced you it was. You still owe me that <laughs> fine. You were always lying to me. You fall prey to deception far too easily. You believed it, that I had a robot hand for six years. <laughs> it made sense. I could shoot lasers out of my pinky. I thought that's why you were in school. I had washers for my course. You were getting your hand fixed and that's why you were in school. How long did it take you to realise I was not of metal origin? Until you told me. I'd never have guessed. <laughs> You're an idiot. I know.
I am an idiot. She said, no, don't you be shy, don't you look up, time's on your side, a plasticine dream, do you comprehend, a frivolous being, let's not pretend that you didn't see.